Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this moving ears reindeer hat with a blinking nose, just like Rudolph. Let's go! This pattern is part of a very special event called the Advent Calendar Crochet Along Volume 2. It has a mystery feature to it because you don't know which pattern I will be publishing each day. The entire event has 30 crochet patterns. 24 of them will be available free to view on my website. But again, you don't know which one. The 24 patterns will also be available in my membership at Free and Printer Friendly. You can also get those on Ravelry and Etsy as a PDF. All 30 crochet patterns include a video tutorial. If you want to get all 30 crochet patterns ad free and printer friendly, then get my ebook at the link down below in the description or my website. All 30 crochet patterns are last minute gift ideas. The entire event is sponsored by Premier Yarns. Now let's get started with today's quick crochet pattern. In order to get started, you're going to need some worsted yarn. I'm using Premier's Just Yarn Value. This is with the color golden rod. You're also going to need some brown and some white and a little bit of black. You're also going to need these air pumps, two of them. I have a link in the material section of the pattern in order to get these from Amazon. I'm also using a four millimeter crochet hook and I'm using this cute little nose right here that lights up to make this reindeer hat into Rudolph. You can totally just crochet this. I'm going to attach this one so that I have a glowing nose on top of my hat. To get started, start with a magic ring. Chain one just to secure the ring. It doesn't count as a stitch or anything. Now we're going to add an alternative turning chain. So I'm using the stacked single crochet, so make a single crochet. Now insert your hook into the loop that's closest to your yarn finger, yarn over and pull through. Now yarn over and pull through. So you made two single crochets stacked on top of each other, counting as a double crochet. And right on top here, that V right here is where you insert your hook in the next round. Now add 11 more double crochets to the ring. Now close the ring. Now slip stitch to the first stitch. I like to do the invisible way. So I remove my hook from my loop. I insert it into the first stitch from the back to the front. And now I am pulling my loop back. Now let's go to the next round. Crochet an alternative turning chain again. And then add another double crochet to the same stitch. Now crochet two double crochets all the way around per stitch. In the next round, go ahead and continue increasing. So start with an alternative turning chain in the first stitch. And then in the next stitch, you're going to crochet two double crochet stitches. Then one double crochet, and then a following stitch, two double crochets. Now go ahead and repeat that all around. One double crochet, then two double crochets. In the following round, crochet one alternative turning chain in the first stitch. Again, it counts as a double crochet. Then a double crochet in the following stitch. And then two double crochets in the next one. Now you're going to repeat that, but only with double crochets. So one double crochet in the next two stitches, and then two double crochets in the following. Do this all the way around. Again, slip stitch to the first stitch. Now in the following round, we're going to crochet again an alternative turning chain, and then one double crochet in the next two more stitches. So we have three double crochets in a row, one per stitch, and then two double crochets in the next one. Now you repeat that. One double crochet in the next three stitches, then two double crochets all the way around. Slip stitch to the first stitch, and we're going to do one more row of increases. Remember this pattern is written for an adult size. If you want to make this smaller, the only way to do that is to use currently a reference table that I attach to the written pattern. The reason I made it for adult size only is because of the air pumps. 
So I just want you to be aware of that. So in the next round of increases, we're going to crochet four double crochets in a row. The first one is an alternative turning chain. So one per stitch and then an increase. Then you repeat that one double crochet in the next four stitches and then two double crochets in the following stitch. Do this all the way around. Now slip stitch again to the first stitch. Now we're going to crochet just double crochet stitches. You're going to crochet just double crochet stitches so no increases or anything for nine rounds. So one double crochet per stitch. Always start with an alternative turning chain in every row. Now let's pretend I just did nine rounds because it's just the same stitch over and over again. I'm just going to show you the main important parts of the pattern. So let's pretend I did nine rounds of just double crochet stitches. You're now going to add the arms where the air pumps are in. So start with an alternative turning chain and then crochet eight more double crochets after that. You're going to have nine double crochets in a row, one of them being the alternative turning chain. Now you're going to do an extension onto it for nine more double crochets, but we're going to use the chainless foundation row. So that means we're going to make a chain and the double crochet at the same time. So let me show you. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as you just made your last stitch, yarn over and pull through. You made now a chain right here. So yarn over and pull through. So now you can see it obviously. So here's that chain for the chainless foundation row. Now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So you made your chain down here and a double crochet on top. So now let's do that again. Insert your hook into that chain that you just made, yarn over and pull through. You made your chain here, yarn over and pull through. Now you work on your stitch. Yarn over and pull through two, through two. So you made now two double crochets. So now continue until you have nine additional ones. So after you made your nine over here, you're making nine additional ones. You're going to have 18 in a row and then we're going to go in rounds. Once you're done and you have 18 stitches in total, you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch again, just like you've done before. And now you're going to go in double crochet rows, one per stitch, always the first one being the alternative turning chain for 18 more rounds. So that means with the one that you just made, it'll be 19 rounds of just double crochet stitches, one stitch per stitch. Now let's pretend I just did 19 rounds in total, including the first round. Now we're going to do some increases. In the very first increasing round, you're going to do an alternative turning chain. Again, it counts as a double crochet. Then you're going to do one more double crochet, and then you're going to do an increase of two double crochets. Now you're going to repeat that one double crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase. Do this until the end of the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch as per normal. And now you're going to crochet two rounds of just double crochet stitches, always having the alternative turning chain counting as a double crochet as your very first stitch. Once you're done, you're now going to do decreases. So you're going to do an alternative turning chain unfinished for the very first stitch. So you're not yarning over and going through one more time. So you're going to leave it unfinished and then yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. That's an unfinished double crochet. So we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through. That is your decrease. So now let's do a regular double crochet decrease. Over two stitches, you having two unfinished double crochet stitches, yarn over and pull through. Now go ahead and do this all the way around in every stitch. Once you're done, you can fasten off and now you're going to weave through over here through all the stitches and you're going to close up this hole. So put your yarn on a needle and weave through every stitch back and forth. You can also just go through the front loops of all the stitches. It's up to you. And once you've woven it all the way through, pull, 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 and now go ahead and weave in your ends and sew it all closed. And once you're done, it's going to look like this. You're now going to attach the second arm by skipping 26 stitches from the point where you stopped over here and you did the uh, extension. You're going to skip 26 stitches, reattach your yarn, 
and repeat the process you did on the very first arm. And then you're going to have it look like this. So you have the two arms with the bulbs here at the end. And this is the beanie. Again, if you want to make this smaller, I only wrote it for the adult size because we need a certain length for the arm as well as the hat because that's where the where the pump part is going to poke out in order to make things move. But if you wish to make it smaller, you're going to need to do probably less or more increases over here. So the circle part in the beginning, less or more row, rounds over here in order to make the hat work. So yeah, I have a reference table for that. So you're going to use the reference table for the circle. It's going to ask for the diameter. So you're going to measure your circle in order to have it for the correct size. And then you're going to need the hat size. So this is the, from the top to the bottom right here. Okay, so you can measure that. However, however, you if you're making this beanie part smaller, you're going to have to extend onto this. Okay, so this entire part, starting from the point here all the way here until this point right here, needs to be about 17 and a half inches. So just that you know that, so if you're making this smaller, you have to extend the arm because of the length of the air pump. It is a certain size and it needs to be able to poke out over here. Now that you're done with the beanie, it's time to make the face. We will mainly use golden rod for the reindeer hat. In order to crochet the nose, we're going to use some linen. Start with a magic ring, chain one to secure the ring. Now add six single crochets to the ring and close the ring. Use a stitch marker, add two single crochets to each stitch all the way around. In the following round, crochet one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all the way around. In the next round, crochet one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all the way around. In the next round, crochet one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Go ahead and do this all the way around. Once you're done, crochet four more rounds of just single crochet stitches. You can now take your little nose. If you're getting the same nose as me, you can totally use a crocheted one if you wish. We're going to push this through here. You can use your hook for that. The nose is going to sit right here, like slightly on the top. So it's like slightly bent over, not straight in front, a little bit on the side. So we're going to take the rubber band here that is already attached and you're going to push it through so it's going to sit right on top, but no worries. We're going to stuff this area right here with polyfill and we're going to push this through the beanie later. So that way you can knot it and you can also pull in order to turn this on whenever you are ready to turn it on. You can set your nose aside for now. Let's make the ears. You're going to make two of these. So start with a magic ring chain one to secure the ring. Now add six single crochets to the ring, then close the ring, use a stitch marker, then add, then add one single crochet in the first stitch, then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now repeat that all around. In the following round, crochet just one single crochet per stitch all around. In the following round, crochet one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Now go ahead and do this all the way around and follow this round with one single crochet per stitch all the way around. Once you finish those two rounds, which was an increasing round and one round of just single crochet, we're going to do another increasing round. This one is going to be one single crochet in the next three stitches and then an increase, two single crochets in the following stitch. Now do this all the way around and follow it up again with one single crochet per stitch in the following round. In the next round, after you finish those two rounds, you're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches 
and then an increase, so two single crochets in the following. Repeat that all the way around and follow it up again with another round of just one single crochet per stitch. Once you finish those two rounds, we're going to continue one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Do this until the end of the round and then follow it up with one round of just one single crochet per stitch. In the next round, after finishing those two rounds, do one single crochet in the next six stitches and then an increase in the following stitch. Do this all the way around and finish it up with one round of just single crochet. For the last round, crochet one single crochet in the next seven stitches and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Do this all the way around, then fasten off. Once you're done, you have two ears for the reindeer. Now let's make the antlers. For the antlers, you're going to need some brown. Make a magic ring chain one to secure the ring. Now add six single crochets to the ring, close the ring, use your stitch marker. Now add two single crochets per stitch all the way around. Now crochet six rounds of just single crochet stitches in a round. Then you're gonna repeat that process one more time. So make the same piece twice. Once you have both pieces, it's now time to combine them into one. So what you're going to do is you're going to crochet one single crochet and then you're going to go over here to the other side and you're now going to crochet a decrease. So I like to do the invisible way. So go through the front loops of two stitches like so, yarn over and pull through and now finish it up like a regular single crochet. Now let's do that again, all the way around. So one single crochet, now the invisible single crochet decrease. Now keep doing this all the way around and then you're going to the other side again to finish up the round. Now once you're done, pause for a second. You can see that there is a slight hole there in between Pull out your yarn a little bit so you won't lose it. You also have your stitch marker, don't lose that. So use your yarn end from the other one, from the other piece, and close up that little hole in between. And then you can just weave in those ends here. So just go between here, right where that hole is, and sew it closed. Then pick up your loop again, move up your stitch marker, and now crochet five rounds of just single crochet, so one per stitch. Then you're gonna repeat that exact same process all over again so you have a second antler. Once you're done, you have two antlers. Go ahead and stuff them mildly, just a little bit, so it has a little bit of volume, but you don't wanna overstuff these. And then it's now time to make the eyes. For the eyes, you're gonna need some white and black. For the black pupils, I'm just gonna uh, guide you through it because they're super hard to see on camera. So you're just going to make a magic ring and add six single crochets to the ring. And then in the following round, you're gonna increase, so two single crochets per stitch, and then you fasten off and you're gonna make two of those. For the white part of the eye, you're going to make a magic ring chain one to secure the ring and add 10 single crochets to the ring then close the ring slip stitch to the first stitch you're now going to place two half double crochets in the first stitch now two half double crochets in the following stitch now three double crochets in the next now you're going to place two half double crochets in the next four stitches, so two each, that means eight half double crochet stitches in total. Now the next stitch, three double crochets, and in the last two stitches, two half double crochets each. Then slip stitch to the first stitch. Now it's time to sew it all on. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew the nose right here. You're also going to push this through to the other side before you start stuffing. 
So which means the best thing to do is sew three quarter of the way around it, then push this guy through here, okay? And then stuff this and finish up sewing the nose onto the reindeer beanie, okay? Then you're going to take the eyes and you're gonna sew them on the sides of the nose, like so. And I'm also gonna add a little line right here for a shimmer. Finally, you're going to add the reindeer antlers right on top, more towards the center. So two of them there. And then we have the ears kind of here on the side. Those are the ears that are going to be moving, okay? That's where we're gonna push the pieces through. The best thing to do is before figuring out where to put the ears is to put this through. So you're gonna take the back of it, you're gonna put it through here. Just squeeze it through, put it through just like you would with a sock. And once it's through, you're gonna take the end piece right here and you're going to push it through. Now you're going to expand onto between the two double crochets that are next to the piece. So first kind of lay it out and see where it's going to land, roughly here. So that's where I'm going to push it through, okay? So I'm gonna put it through right here. So just simply squeeze it through. And it's okay, it's a little tight because we want it to stay there. So you kind of pushing it slightly through and you're going to leave it about halfway. You're not gonna push all the way through because we want the ear to hang down and when you squeeze it, it's gonna go up, okay? So you're only squeezing half of this through, not all the way. Plus all the way, it wouldn't even fit into the ears. So only half of it. When you put this on right here, make sure that you're not sewing through both layers you're going in a circle and sewing this on in a circle. So you're going around here and around here on the other side, okay? So that way it can move. And when you're done, it's gonna look like this. So you have the ears bending forward and when you squeeze it, they go up. And then the nose is attached here. I, I just tied it up over here, uh, but because it's a rubber band, you can pull it here and turn it on and off, which I really like. So that way, you know, if you need to change other batteries, you can do so as well. And now you're done. You have the antlers here in the back, cute little face with a blinky nose, and you're done with your Rudolph reindeer pop-up moving ears hat. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I publish a new video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. I'm sure you want to. I'll see you next time. Bye.